Well, hi, how are you doing today? We are going to make something really fun. We are going to make a retro journal in a kitchen theme. This is going to be fun. I was <clears throat> contacted by a lady called Elizabeth, Elizabeth Wood, and she has an Etsy shop with all uh, her retro designs. She is called Retro Sass Design on Etsy. And she asked me if I would make a journal for her to show you guys what you can do with her uh, images and her ephemera and so forth. I said, sure, you know, I love making journals. I wouldn't mind at all. So today I'm going to start with that. <clears throat> and I'm going to um, work at it and put it all together. To start off, I have, um, these are all sheets that she has given me. I photocopied them, double-sided, and uh, on my machine, on my, on my um, <laughs> colored laser printer, sorry, and I just double-sided them as such, and I made two signatures prepared, two loose signatures, with four pages each, which will give me eight pages. I'm going to make a journal of 16 pages, all within the retro theme with a little bit of sass. So, I hope you join me, because we are going to have a lot of fun. Let's get started. In these journals, as I've just said, I have taken it apart and uh, left, kept them apart. And I took out some fabric that I had, and, uh, retro-wise, and I, I sewed a bit to make them. I would have videotaped that, but it's, uh, my, my camera is not close to the, the sewing machine. But all I did with this is I, had a, I took a piece of fabric, I ripped it apart, and I just put it through the sewing machine by pushing it and just made a bit of a, a tuck. It's not a, a real tuck in even tuck, but it's okay. And I've got, I took out this fabric and the old tea towel fabrics like this. And I took out a few ribbons, rickrack ribbons and so forth. So we're going to get started. Let's put these signatures together. I've taken out a few pieces of paper here. Uh, I've taken out a few um, doilies. So we're going to put some of that inside for sure. We'll work on the cover probably at the end, which is not normal for me to do stuff, but I'm going to do it. I've prepared a bit of stuff here just to save on uh, camera time, because if not, we'll be going along for hours, and we, we know that we have uh, we don't like to go too, too long. So I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to put a piece of paper in here. What else can I add on here? That would be kind of fun. Oh, retro. I've got dots here. Let's do a little bit of chevron over there. And let me see. We're going to put that paper there. And what could we put on here that would be entertaining? Whoops, I didn't keep that open. I'm going to line that up really, really soon. And we're going to do it like this. All right, let me get the other signature going. And, uh, well, I'm going to do it right with you guys while we're here. Let me see. I'm going to do pretty much similar to the same. I'm going to put a doily. I've got a large paper doily here. And I'm just going to throw in a small uh, uh, turquoise here just to kind of change the color a little bit. And uh, I'm going to add a piece of paper, which is all... Uh, paper that I've received from her that I've uh, digital that I've pulled out. I'm going to put a piece of uh, cardstock here. It's uh, just a piece of uh, chevron that I have. Um, these paper here is cardstock that I got out of my six by six paper pads, various paper pads, basic and color crush and dots and stripes and and I just cut them up in stripes to be able to, um, strips, in order to be able to put them in the journal. So, let me, let me see here. I'm going to add another one. Isn't that fun? Huh? Bring back a lot of memories, huh? I'll tell you. I just love this. This is so fun. This is my, 
generation era. <laughs> I shouldn't be bragging about it, but it is. And it's so much fun, 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 fun. Now, am I going to put a color girl? Yeah, I'll put a navy one here. Let me put a navy one there, like that. Alrighty then. And now, we'll be doing some sewing and uh, some stuff. But for now, I am going to bind these. And the way that I bind is I will take a measurement of this. I will go across this way, like this. And the way I bind it is I'll have this is at eight and a quarter inches. I want three holes in the signature. You can make two, you can make three, you can make four, you can make whatever you want. But I won't, I'm not going to have a thick book, so journal. So I'm just going to add um, three signature, three stitch. It should be, it'll be plenty fine, fine. What I do myself is I'll grab a pencil. I, the way I do mine is I'll pull this and okay, so it's eight and a quarter. Half of eight and a quarter is four plus two. All right, so I know that the center is right there. All right, now I go from here to here and then I'll say, okay, so it's four plus two. So now I go two plus one, which is half of this. Do you understand what I'm saying now? I, I keep my math simple. <laughs> So here I do the same thing. Two plus one is right here. So these three, in other words, these four parts right here are all equal. Then what I do is I'll take some uh, clips and my good old clips here. And I take everything that I have. I'm sure that it's all in where I want it to be. And then I'll take some binding clips and I bind it all together. Now, you wonder why I'm binding it together? I'll tell you. When you bind it together like this, everything will remain the same when you close it. You won't have a whole bunch of issues about your paper shifting around. And the paper that I am more concerned about is the large pieces because once you have it folded the small pieces will stay in place okay so I am going to add another piece here I just find that for me it works it's a it's a little trick and I saw this somebody else using it and I thought it was it was an excellent idea excellent idea I can't really remember who because I've been doing journals for so long. You forget all the little tips that you picked up along the ways and some you've discovered yourself. You forget where you got them. Okay, so now you see what I did there. So now I take my good old pick. Take a needle, take a pick, take whatever you want. I have a pick here. It's what I use when I, when I do cry kite and I need to pick out some vinyl or whatever. And I'm going to take it right on the spine where that line is. And if you wanted to, you could put a piece of sponge in the back. And you could go right through. But I'm going to, for, for camera purposes, let me get it a little closer. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> you can see my marks right here. So what all I do is I put my pick right across to make a hole. If you have the long arm chomp it and you want to do it with that that's fine too I just find those make two big holes I, I just got to put a thread through this so I don't want it that big I make my three holes they've gone through I haven't gone through this one but I, that's fine because I can run this through here anyway and, <clears throat> and then I'll take my thread pardon me I've got a frog in my throat for some reason and what I use is floss now now you can use whatever you want, whatever you have in hand. If you have a thick wire, uh, fishing wire, that'll work. If you have uh, a lace, that'll work. What you need is something not too thick because you need to put it through just the same. You need to put it through your, your uh, needle. But um, if you don't have a needle, something that you can run it through. You should have a needle around your house for something. And... Um, as long as it's, uh, you know, if, it, if you're making jewelry, you take, uh, you know, 
one of the wires or one of the plastic uh, uh, wiring that they have and so forth. I have a, a little gadget here to, to usually filter this. What I have for a needle is a, is a big, wide, wide eye needle. And I, I don't know what they call these special, if they're, I don't think they're anything special. They're just short with a, with a big eye. Like you can tell from the camera here, maybe. I have a big eye on this one. But you can use any needle. Uh, there are needles that are, um, that even have, uh, I can wait too much here. There are needles that uh, you don't even have to thread. You just run it through and it kind of locks it. There's so much today that <laughs> the sky's the limit, really. Now, to sew my signature, all I do here is I'll start by the center here. So I'm going to pierce this just to make sure that it stays in place. And I'm going to go through my, my hole. Pardon me for a minute here. There you go. It's really, really simple. See, I'm going to run it through my hole there, like this. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip that will help you, I think. It helps me. Is I take the end of my string, and I'll just slide it with that clip. Sometimes I just let the clip go a little bit, and it holds this piece inside. So, my my piece, <laughs> I won't pull it through by accident, see, because I want to pull the second one in, but I don't want to pull this one, like so. So then, I bring it over, punch it through this, pull it through, and maybe what I'm going to do, because I want this to stay, so I'm going to push this through here, and I'm just going to let that go a little bit, there you go. Are you following me so far? It's so simple, really. There's no nothing to it whatsoever. And um, I pull this one out again. Just bear with me for a second. And then I'm going to run it back in the center. Like so. I normally don't have much in the center here. That's flopping around and because I'm on camera. It's called Cam uh, Murphy's Law. Everything's going to go not according to what it normally goes. <laughs> I get a kick out of that because I find it happens every time. But anyway, it really doesn't matter. There you go, as long as the finished product comes across. So now I have it there. Now I run it through the next hole on the bottom here. Okay? And then from here, all I do is I tie it up. So I... I'm going to straighten out here, like this. Take my needle out. I don't go twice. You can if you want. I feel, I feel there is no need for it, so I don't bother doing it. But all I do at this point is I'll take it. And if you find that it's too flimsy for the, for the center to put your thread through because you're not used to it, just don't put anything. Go right to the paper. Put these inside the other the other pages, and then they'll all hold together. It's as simple as that. Then I'm going to, I'm going to put my finger down, just like you do when you were a kid and trying to tie your, your shoe, and you're going to make a knot. The way I do my knot is I go one way, and then I'll put, I tie it across like this, put my finger, then I'll run my thread through this. This is how I do it. I'm not saying this is how you should do it, but this is how I do it. Do it the way it makes it simple for you, and that's what matters. And I find then my knot holes, okay? Then I'll trim the pieces like that, and that's done. My basic signature is done. I can take these off at this point because I won't be needing them anymore because all my centers are all, <clears throat> are, they're all put together. It's so easy, like, it looks difficult, but once you see how it's done, it's like, oh, is that all? <laughs> you know, that's how I felt anyway when I first did mine years ago. But uh, I've learned so much since then. There are so many talented people out there in the cyber world that do these things, and it's just incredible. Anyway, 
I'm going to do the second one and I'm going to do it off camera to save on time and I'll be back. So if you're working along with me, you can do your second signature. Yeah, I'm back. I'm going to uh, play with some of the ephemeras that I've uh, got out of her, uh, of um, Elizabeth's Etsy shop. And it's like I said, if any of you are interested in her ephemera, I'm just going to use her stuff in this particular journal. Uh, and you can find it all at Retro Sass Design. Retro, R-E-T-R-O-S-A-S-S -S -S Designs. And she's got really fun stuff. Uh, I find that it was, um, <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. Anyway, let's keep going here. I'm going to grab something that I have already uh, pretty much cut up a lot. All right, here there's one I like. It says, I'm feeling a bit overworked and under intoxicated. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's cute. I, I could probably put a recipe or something behind. So I'm going to use this as a pocket. And I am going to... Just add adhesive on three sides because it's not two-sided and that's what I had in mind when I started and I was going to make it two-sided uh, with her ephemera and I thought oh no I like this I'm going to add this right here and it'll give me room for uh, some journaling a bit of journaling see how this pocket is much more narrow than the other one was that I made because there's no edges to it but still it'll work I can still fit some some uh, some stuff in it and you can still journal on top some of that might change later on I don't know because <laughs> I can change quite quickly actually on some of the some of the journaling uh, okay another pocket another pocket let me see what I can find oh I take life with a grain of salt a wedge of lime and a shot of tequila isn't that <laughs> isn't that fun this one here, I can see this one here fitting right there. So, I am going to take it, glue it all. And the first pocket that, that I did, I did use from her uh, her pages that she sent me and um, that I printed. So I do have some of those. They're just plain. There's nothing on them. So, this is my journaling card for here. Awesome, 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 awesome. I and I might dress that up a little bit after, but for now, this is gonna work. Okay, let me, let me see, let me see. Oh, there's a nice little one here I could add here. What's this, retro, there's a stone, I like that. This is cute. What else do we have here? I'm living life to the credit limit. <laughs> I'm living life to the credit limit. Okay, let us try this one. I am going to put glue here and glue here. And I'm going to leave this corner so I can tuck it in. But I might put a paper clip here to hold it in at the same time. So I am just going to put glue on the edge, like so. And I'm going to add that right on the top. And now, when I get to add later on, if I want to add something, and I don't find it's tight enough, it's no problem, because I'm going to add some, some um, paper, when I say paper clip, I'm dressed up clips and so forth on there, because we have, this is only the beginning, it's just setting up some of the pockets to the journal. I really like this. I think I'm going to leave this open as such for um, just... I just like the, uh, the the looks of that, so I don't think I want to put anything on this one. When I come to this side here, I have this little guy here. I think, I think, I think, I think. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm just going to take this little guy here, and I'm going to add a touch of glue. She's not very big, but I can add some ephemera in that. And I'm going to add this to the paper like this. It's already sewn in on this side, so I'm good. Just don't want the paper to go through on the bottom here. And the reason I do this is just to wipe out all the glue that's on the side. Because if I don't, I'm going to close the book <coughs> and it'll glue to that. So on this one here, I can still put a little card in there. It's not an issue whatsoever. Still have plenty of room to write. I like that. That's going to work for me there. Oh, there's another one here. How about if I do the same thing here? I know with this one here, I could actually 
Hmm. 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 Why do I want to do with that? Boom. Not sure for that yet. Not too sure. But let me see if I can take it. I make such a mess when I'm when I'm working because I don't plan too much ahead. I think of the theme and I think of what I want. But uh, when I get to put the things together, I go by feeling as I turn the page. Oh, I think I'd like that, or oh, I like that, or there you go. G girls just want to have fun. Isn't that cute? I think that would work out perfect. Girls just want to have fun. Do I like that one more than the other one? I'm going to end up putting them all in there, I know. I am woman, see me shop. A woman's place is in the mall. I'm living to the credit limit. Is that what I put over here? <coughs> Excuse me. Every time I get on camera, I tend to have a frog in my throat, guys. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to add that one. I like that. And I'm going to use it on a corner, no, or I'm going to use it over here. What do you guys think? I'm going to do 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 do. Life is a blast. I think these are so cool. I think, I think. I don't want to throw away that picture, so I think I'm just going to cut this up. And I'm going to add that right there. And uh, <coughs> I'll embellish it later. I want to take away from the... I've done it on the other ones, but on this centerpiece, I'm not too sure if that's what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to add this little guy here for now. And then this guy becomes a pocket. Maybe not a straight one right at the moment, but it's going to become a pocket. Hold on. Like this. If you've noticed, I've left my strings hanging because I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. Maybe at the end I'll end up putting a charm at the end of this. I am not sure. So in order, if I'm not sure, I'm just going to leave it as is. And that way there, I don't second guess myself. It'll be right there. I'm going to glue this piece down. Right here. And maybe we'll put something in there after. And this here I'll probably fill with ephemera. So that's good. We've got half of that, half of this signature done already, guys. That's how quick it goes. Now for this side, I want to add, I, I'm going to add another piece here. What does it say? What, what do we have here? There's a, there are days I'm too busy that I don't get anything done. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Huh? Let me see. Do I, I think I'm going to do a half pocket here, and then I'll fill in this part here. I like that idea. Now, I'm using a lot of her tags and whatever she has on her site. Not whatever, she, I've used a little bit. She has so much that um, I'm going nuts trying to figure out what I was going to use. So she sent me, I made her a few suggestions and she sent it to me. And But my gosh, there is so much out there that she has on her site that um, it's fun to go through. I was, <laughs> I was oh! wanted that I, you know it's just we want it all when we're crafters don't we all right so there's another one I like it and the reason she's sassy she says that they're not they don't all have comments but a lot of her things have comments like you know there are days but I'm so busy I don't get anything done and I'm going to add ephemera to that I kind of like this piece uh, I like I like the fact that there's advertising of a lot of the things memory going back in time I like that so on this piece here, let me see. 
Okay, so, yeah, I think here I'll put, no, I think I'd like to put this one here instead. Living the life to the credit. But this one here, I'm just going to do the two corners, like that, guys. And I'm just going to do the two corners on this one, like so, so I can add something in here. And I'll add maybe, a, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one as say, per se, but uh, I'm, I know I'll, I'll end up figuring something out for that. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Do I, would I want this in here? And then a little secret could be written in there, It'd be like a tag. I think so, I like that idea. So I'm going to put some stripes here. And again, this was all like little bits and pieces that I had left out of those uh, those pads. Uh, I might have used it to make a card, or I'm not quite sure what it was for now. It's been so long, but um, I'm more of a, a vintage, vintage um, lace per person. But when I saw this retro, oh wow, <laughs> that brought me back in my days. So I really like that. Um, I have a lot of these dishes still. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do inside, but I'm just looking at it as a little tuck. I might end up putting a little magnet or a little clip here to make sure that it stays closed. I'm not quite sure. But we have this one done. Let's go to the next page. And our next page, our next page is plain, plain, plain. So I could almost add a, um, anything at all. Anything at all. Let me see. Uh, morning without coffee is like sleep. <laughs> That's cute. All right. What do we have here? I take like life like a grain of salt, a wedge of lime, and a shot of tequila. Okay, we have recipes here, but I was more or less thinking of putting the recipes into into. Uh, as journaling cards. Boo freaking who? Have a cocktail and get over it. <laughs> pull out, pull up your little underwear as they say, huh? Pull it up. Um, what else does she have here? My goodness, it's to try to, they're, all of them are so nice that you just don't know. I like this one, the lust of wear. I'll put this one down. Nope, I'm going to go with this one. When life hands you lemons, grab a tequila. Hmm. If you're a tequila drinking, that's fine. But I'll tell you one thing. If you don't drink, like I don't drink, uh, not because I don't like it, I just can't. My health, there's something going on, I can't drink. But you can always say, make lemonade. Why not? There's a nice pocket. Journaling. Awesome. 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 And down here, I think I'll add this one here. The luster wear. Because if I decide to add something small in there, I will. And if not, it makes a nice little piece to decorate the page with lots and lots of room. Oh my gosh, do I remember those. All plastic. And... Yeah. I don't know if you, some of you remember, but I remember, I was brought up basically by my grandparents, I lived there, and uh, my parents lived there too, but they were working, they were working all the time, <laughs> my dad was on the road as a trucker, and my mom was a nurse, and she worked on a psychiatric ward at night, so I didn't see them a whole lot, but I saw my grandmother, my grandmother was a cook, she was an awesome lady, Awesome, awesome lady. Great, great memories being brought up. And um, she used to do all our preparation, like our food prep. We'd get home from school. School was across the street. She'd have some porridge for us. Or she'd have some macaroni with tomatoes in it. And she did everything from scratch. The bread, her bread. We never bought a store-bought bread. It was always bread from the bakery or which was our house oven <laughs> and she was a great baker she could make pies and donuts and oh all kinds of all kinds of good stuff anyway do you remember I've seen her so often 
in my dreams like that. Our butter used to be white. And we used to put dye in it. And we used to put the hands in there and get it all yellow. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. All right, guys. Going back to this, we're all done. We've got a full signature finished. A full signature finish. That's what I mean. If you don't take off the blue, they kind of stick. They don't break it. It just sticks together. All right. So now I'm going to do the other one. And I'm going to do the other one off camera to save on time, guys. But you get what I'm, what I'm saying. There are so many fancy pockets you can do if you wish to do that. At this point, I'm just keeping it because I want the ephemera and her cards and so forth to, to really stand out. So uh, I'm going to do the other one off, off camera to save on time. And... We'll be right back. Don't go away. I'm on the second signature right now, and I've done pretty much everything the same as it was the other one, except for this. And I thought, before I made it, I thought, oh, geez, I should show you how I make this. All I did was cut out a piece of 5x5, five five, and it's double-sided, so I can do this with this. I am going to fold it down to approximately where I like to see it fold down. You can, there's no right or wrong, like I always say. I'm just going to fold it. Let's say this is 5 by 5 I don't even know how long I folded it. Let me see. Um, turn it around here. Fold it at 2 inches. <laughs> Coincidence. Just fold it at 2 inches like that. And then I'm going to fold it back. I'm going to fold it back. Mm, let me see. Let me see what do I want to do with this. Got it like this, and do I want to fold it again here? Well, I have a double sided, so I don't need to fold it that way. But I'd like to make two, three pockets. So one, two, one, one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm going to fold it down about, which would be, I'm not quite sure how long this would be. I'm going to fold it down uh, about about an inch. Yeah, exactly an inch. And then I'm going to fold it back like this. So let's let me go back track so you can see what I mean. This is my piece of cardstock. It's five by five. Okay, it's square. All I did was fold it down at the two inch mark here. I created a fold this way, and then I folded this right in half. There's like this. This has got to be more than four inches. Hold on, let me make sure because I don't want to give you the wrong instruction. There is uh, five inches by five. Here I folded it at. Uh, there's my fold. I folded at two and two sixteenths. Two and two sixteen, and here I folded it at three quarters of an inch, and the same thing, three quarters of an inch. So the only thing is, you don't have to have the exact measurements, but for you, you know, if that's what you want, just fold it and then fold it back. And what we're going to do here is that we going you can glue it all the way in the back, three faces, because I want this to become a pocket, I want this to become a little pocket, and I want this to become a little pocket. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pierce a hole right in the middle. Didn't measure anything. This is pretty much eyeballing. If you <laughs> That's a sure thing. And then I am going to go and I'm going to get myself some um, eyelets, not eyelets, but um, brads, and I'll be right back. Yeah, I got some really cute brads here. I think that would go really well. Oh, there's a little flower. I have to go digging them out. It's not something I use all that much anymore because it's not in front of me. If it was in front of me, I'd be using it. I guarantee you I'd be using it. But, um, you know what we do, we put it away, out of sight, out of mind, and that's it, we forget. But anyway, I have them now, guys, I have them now. Woohoo! Let me see if I can find another flower, flower power, yeah, that's another one here, it's beige, but that's fine. Little flower power, 
two different ones. See, this is not much, but but um, it's it, it's not glue, so it's it's really nice to just add something in, and it just adds a little flair. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure. Later on, I'll add a little something else in here. I ain't too bad. So, because this is going to be a little heavier on the paper, I'm going to use some two-sided tape, but I'm going to use some score tape. And that is my choice. You can try it the other way, but um, it's whatever works for you. I like, once, normally I use a lot of this. This is my go-to glue, just because I don't have to worry about it falling off. I know once it's on, if it's on properly, my glue will not come off. And that's important for me. So, you don't want to be doing a journal and giving it to someone and it falls apart. I don't like that. And I don't think you guys would either. Oops. Well, that's not going to help. Will it, guys? Let me do this again. So, I'm going to put three faces down. Like so. Put that back with my glue. If I wasn't so rough sometimes, it wouldn't fall apart. But... A little, I'm not the most finesse person when it comes to working, but I get things done pretty, or at least I think I do. <laughs> All right, let's, let's put this pocket down and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to add this one right here. Like I said, I always like to leave a little edge. Now, this is what I mean, guys. Later on, when I get to fill in, I'm just going to add some stuff now just to show you, but I'm not going to leave it there. I'll have a pocket to put there. I'll have another pocket if I want to put something else here. And if I just want to add a little ticket or something, I'll have another pocket there. Hey, why not, right? I want to show you that. So I only have a few pages left. I'm going to get them done, and I'll be back with you momentarily. All right, still working on the pockets for uh, the journal. Uh, I'm on my second one. I'm almost done for the pockets, but on my back page here, I want to do a little different, and I thought I'd show you on mine how I want to make two of these, and I want to lay them down here, and I made my own, so I want to show you how I did that, so maybe you'd be interested in making your own. I want to put two little pocket envelopes, and that's what I'm going to use. What I use for this is an 8.5 by 11 piece of vellum. You could use cardstock if you wish. You could use parchment paper if you wish. You could use uh, uh, wax paper <laughs> that you have in your kitchen. You could use tin foil. You can use whatever you want. It will do exactly the same thing. I cut this piece of paper in half. So let's say I have an 8.5 by 11. I closed it in two and I have two pieces. All right, and uh, this is five and a half by eight and a half. And uh, what I did at this point is I I folded it in the center like this. Okay, so at four and a quarter, obviously, just like a card, I folded it in half. You can score it and fold it. That's fine too. And what I did here is on one side I have taken and at a half inch and scored it all the way down okay where it opens up here scored it all the way down like this at one end uh, you can do the same you can do it from there i'm right handed so i find it works better if i if i do it this way it's five and a half i'm going to go down at five so your inside of your vellum paper will look like this all right, now you're going to take the other side, but on the other side, you're going to cut, you're going to score it at a full inch, okay? So if it's at five inch and you're doing it on the right hand side like myself, you're going to go at four and a half inch and score all the way down. If you do it this side, just go at one inch all the way down. You end up having something that looks like this, all right? Now you're done with your scoring. What you're going to want to do now is to make some cuts in order for it to fit. So my first thing is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut across here. I'm going to cut right across, meaning with the corner of the score line. I've showed you how to do these before. Maybe you've missed it, so I'm going to go through this again. 
And then I'm going to take my scissors again, and I am going to cut all the way through this line, all the way down. Just cut a straight line all the way down to the score line. Then when I open it up, I'm going to cut it all the way down here. Okay, we have that done. Now, we're going to, now we have something that looks like that. And if you open it up, you can see your envelope starting to form. Okay? I am going to cut my side here all the way going up. Not both, not both, just this short side. I'm going to take my scissors and I am going to cut it on the score line again all the way going up. All right, we end up with this. Now, I am going to cut this little piece right here. So I'm going to cut it to the score line and again up to the score line like this. I cut it a little crooked, but that's okay. There you go. All right? So this is your envelope. So when you fold your envelope, you're going to fold you can fold it either on top or on the bottom. If you plan on on folding it on the top of the envelope, I would suggest to you to to not cut this front part but cut this as the front part because you don't want your, your topping to show. So you would want your envelope to look like this with the, this piece on the other side. But I prefer to glue them in. So all I do is I fold. I forgot. On this front part, you're supposed to cut this piece off too. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'll show you how it's supposed to finish looking. See? This is how it finishes. This is the look right here. So now I'm going to put it in as I showed you. Fold this in and I'm going to fold this part into the same part where the lid is. Or I call it the lid. The score marks are made so you have no issue in folding them. And now you have yourself squaring it off really good. I have an envelope. All right. And then if I fold this top down, you have yourself a little envelope, just like I have here. Now you can leave it as is if you want. If you, uh, if you prefer, you can take a fancy scissor and finish off the top. Um, it's totally up to you. You can leave it just as is. You can round off the corners, which I am going to do in a second. You can uh, round off the corner if you wish, like that, and another one like that, and then it makes a flap like this. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is what you do on this part here. So now that you have, you have made this envelope like this, like I said, you can leave it just like so. What I did on mine, and it's, you don't need to do that, is I took a piece of scrap paper like this, and um, I'm just going to cut a piece off here so it'll be easier for me to to work with and I took my I have a, a crop it out so what I did is I took the larger the larger uh, punch and I just punched two holes like this just as easy as that inside then I have if I had a three-quarter inch, it probably would work even better. Not work, but it would look better. But I only have a half-inch punch. And the next size over for me is an inch. So then I centered. I tried to do it the other way. Eh, didn't work. <laughs> so I suggest if you're going to do this, do it this way. Like that. And then I center it on this one here. As center as you can, like this. And I have my two little holes. There you go. Now, I take an eyelet, doesn't matter what color, doesn't matter what you do, you know, but I am going to take my, there's my two eyelets, I'm going to take my envelope, and I never, ever worry too much about having it dead centered, but as center as you can, and I am going to add my eyelet to my reinforcer, Add the eyelet into the hole, take my little dandy 
crop a doll here and if you don't have a crop a doll and you have an eyelet setter go for it same thing the only thing that's different is the tool and you give it a gentle push and there you go I have my eyelet closer so I'm going to do the same thing with the other one I'm going to set it in about there so I'm going to put my my eyelet setter as not my eyelet setter but my um, my crocodile as far as I can down now if you have a long arm crocodile you can use that if you wish I do have one but I find this is fine it works um, it works very well and I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I showed you on the first one I'm going to add my eyelet into the hole take my crocodile and just give it a gentle push if you push too hard you are first of all going to take all the paint off the enamel and you're going to crush it so you, it doesn't need to have a big push because you're just pushing it through vellum sorry <laughs> it's what's to play and uh, you always put the long pin on a crop of doll. see how there's a long pin right here you put that on the top into the hole and it automatically should adjust it to the bottom just give it a small shove and there you go you have your eyelet all set so now all I got to do is take you now vellum it's going to show the glue but for me it doesn't matter because it's an envelope uh, and what the reason I'm using this is because I want the the tags and whatnot to show through and um, I have now finished my little envelope and you know what I want to do with that don't you I want to take a piece of thread and I'm going to go into my rickrack box here where I keep all my little leftover things and uh, I'm going to see what I can find here I got a little piece of probably a little piece right here that I'm going to cut and I'm hoping that it's not going to be too too thick but it may be, I may have to use something thinner, yes. A little thinner, so I'm going to use my floss here. If I had made a wider hole, uh, like a, um, not a wider hole, but a wider guard, I could have put a thicker uh, thread, but because I didn't, it uh, it's not going to work properly. Now, I'm sure there are different ways to do this. This is how I do mine. I make a little loop. And I tie a knot in it, just my little tiny loop like this. And like I said, there may be many, many more ways. I've never been showed, so I do it the way I think it'll work. And then I run my thread through it like this, okay? So you end up having like a lasso type of thing. I now you can put it on the bottom or the top, whichever you feel. Run it underneath, underneath the paper guard here. And all I do is I, I pull on it like this. And it goes underneath the, um, the paper tab. See? So it's as simple as that. And now I have myself a little envelope. Can you see? Just like you bought them. So this is how I do it. It's like I said, it's no rocket science. So I am going to attach these back on the back here, the two of them here. I'm going to glue this one and whatnot and attach them both on the back and I will be back. So don't you dare go away. Okay, so now both our signatures are finished when it comes to putting pockets at this point, putting the pockets in. Now we are starting, little by little, we're going to embellish it. I have done the second one, and I have embellished it like I, like I did the first one together with you. And uh, I just did pretty much the same thing over and over again. Little tuck here, little tuck there, and here, there, and again here with a little doodad in the front here. And a little pocket here, which I showed you how to do to add three pockets. And another one here another one there, another one here, and always make sure that you take the glue out because it will stick, and the excessive glue, and another one here with the paper doilies here and in here and in the back 
oops, sorry, I was off camera, but you, you get what I mean. I'm not going to go through that again for you to bore you and put the two envelopes in the back. The reason I'm putting the envelopes for this particular one in the back is this journal is not going to be too thick. And in the back, if I weigh it down or get it a little thick with the, the, um, ephemera or whatever I'm going to put in, I haven't decided yet, the, uh, the bind here, the back of the book, will be a little thicker so from the back here, so it will not bulge it out like this. It should hold everything together and as square as possible. Okay, now we are going to start with no particular thing random just to start embellishing. So I am going to take some of my fabrics here that I have that I've, uh, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, that I have sewed. And I can put it through the sewing machine again, but then you won't be able to uh, particular see it. So I'm going to show you like this, how I am going to put it down there. And you can use fabric tack. That is very good. It's permanent and it's permanent adhesive and it's for fabric. So it goes really well. You just put a little bit down, add it on, and it'll do exactly the same thing, uh, except that I am going to take a minute and I'm going to run it through my sewing machine. So I will be right back. All right, so now I'm back and I'm back with both journal and I've done the sewing that I want to do today. And it's nothing fancy, it's just zigzagged across. I put a border on the bottom there. I've also added a border on the bottom here. I've added another one here, I believe. Uh, wait now. Uh, on the bottom here. And that's it for this one. This one here, I added one there. I added one here. I added one here. And another one there. I believe that is all. And the remainder, I'm going to glue because there are some things that I just don't want threads all over, so I am going to glue them down. Now, uh, you be careful when you glue it down, as I did here, I ended up, I sewed it on this side and ended up sewing the, uh, the doily, which is fine, because I can fix that. I can fix just about anything here. Now, let's, let's see where else I could put some. Uh, this is a pocket here. This goes there. There's nothing really there. Oh, I know if I put something here, it's going, to, it's going to take away from this. But I could probably add something. Okay, this is like this. I could probably add something there. Doesn't necessarily have to mean that it, it's got to be rickrack. Um, let me see. All right, here. I would like to add something here. So uh, I just took out a whole whack of my rickrack here and I'm going to decide what I want to put. Do I want to put this? No, this doesn't really, really cut my fancy, but maybe this one will. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to cut it. And I can always trim it later. And I'm just going to add myself a little bit of, oops, Wrong, wrong end off. Uh, I'm going to have to clean that up too, right away. If I don't clean that up right away, I'm going to have a gooky mess. And it ain't going to be funny. Okay. I'll clean out the cover later. I'm going to take the, my little red cover off is where I want it to go. Oh, my cover's broken. Bear with me. All right, my bottle of Fabri-Tac Fabri bottle lid let go on me for some reason. So I had, I ended up putting a little bit in this to continue the video here. But just to keep on, I'm going to show you this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue that rickrack right there. That is not going anywhere. And it's going to be like sewn, but except there's no threads. Hmm? This is going to be just, just as good as pie just like so. So now I got to decide what else I want to put on there. What else do I want to put on there? Uh, let me see. I have a little bit of blue. How is this one opening up? It's opening this way. How about if I add a little bit of blue here and then that would take away 
from the bottom there. So I'm going to do again, I'm going to add some um, Fabri-Tag glue here. And um, the reason I'm adding Fabri-Tag glue is because it'll hold the fabric really well. If you put any type of Elmer's glue or any type of white glue that will glow clear or whatever, it'll stay. E6000 will really stay. But it'll be, it'll be like you could just hit it and it could come off. So although that it looks as if it's going to stay, long term it will not. So keep that in mind as you are um, adding embellishments like so. Uh, this here, what will happen is that before, it will rip the paper before it comes off. And that's what you want. You want something to adhere very, very hard. And one thing about Fabri-Tac is that it adheres quickly and it adds to, uh, to the page quite quick so you can keep on going. You don't have to worry so much about having to stop everything you're doing because, you know, and you got to give it time to to uh, to dry, which to me is a super duper bonus. Now on this part here, maybe I'd like to have a little bit of um, a little bit of something to. Um, hmm, what do I want to put on there? Uh, has a little tab, so to speak. I think I'm going to cut this piece out like so. I'm going to grab my um, my little stapler here. This is uh, what I'm going to do because I'm going to I'm going to add this as a as a little embellishment on the tab here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to staple that inside, and later on I will embellish that with a flower or something or other. That is one thing. Oh, this one here so far I think is good. There are two pieces of textile there. There's a pocket here. But no textile on the bottom. Uh, we could add um, here. I have a little bit of of this that could be added to the page. That's too much polka dot in my mind. I would like to add a little bit of uh, something different. So what do I have here? Oh, I have something that's a little retro here. I'm going to add that right there. So I'm going to cut this like this. And I am going to add this to this piece right now. And in order to do that, I think I'm going, because the piece is so big. And one thing about Fabric Tac, too, guys, is that it does dry quick. Therefore, you will, um, as I said, you won't have any residue. And it dries clear, so whatever you have extras, you won't have to worry about it. Because it's not going to ruin your whatever you're putting it on because it's going to um, stay white. So this is another one right there and it's a bit lazy. That is cute. I like that. I like that a lot. I think I might do a little bit of trimming here though on the end. A little bit of trimming just to not have it hanging over the edge because I can. And this one here I will wait a few seconds because it is a net and the netting will um, obviously stay wet on the opposite side. The fabric is not um, solid enough. So while that is drying over there, let's keep going with the second one. The second one I have, oh I think I have so much of enough there. Let's add something here. And here I could add something, something, something red, pink. Let's try the pink one. Pink one would be pretty, or the pink polka dot. Yes, yes, yes. How about that? Yep, I like that. I like that a lot. So I am going to take, I don't believe this is working as I'd like it, but let me see if what I can do. Um, it just, it'd be great if I had little tiny, tiny pieces, but it's not coming in. Well, call me whatever you want, but you know what? <laughs> it might work. It might work. That ribbon is not too, too thick. So I'm going to add back that little rubber right on the edge here to keep that little bottle in. Okay, so now we'll take that scotch tape off. All that did was keep it from raveling, and I have glue for that too if I need it. One thing that this does too as you add sometime embellishments is that it'll also uh, make the, the page firmer, which 
in the long run might be to your advantage too. So if you're flipping pages a lot, that's why sometimes we add tags and stuff to make it uh, a little bit firm. Yeah, I like that. And I'll probably add something else in there. Okay, so we have something in here that'll work. Uh, we have something there, but we could add something more here. We could add a little bit of a black lights. That would be pretty. That would be very pretty. Let me see what I can do. Let us see what we can do. There we go. Will this work again? We should be should be so lucky to have it work again. Yes, I think it might. It just may. You have to use a lot of strength behind because these little inexpensive bottles tend to not have a a second hole to create creates a pressure, but it doesn't have anywhere to release the air other than in the tip. And so you have to push hard, hard, hard in order to create pressure, which is fine. It's fine, fine, fine. Everything is fine with me. I never stress out too, too much. Maybe when my glue tip breaks. <laughs> oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> it's all in fun. All fun, fun, fun. There you go. Yep, I like that. I do like that, guys. I don't know how you feel about it. I kind of like that. And you know what? I think I just might, or do I want to put a piece of fabric on there? I think I'll put a piece of fabric just because I can. And just because I've got it. There you go. Let's, let's do this. And uh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to use my, I could glue it on. I'd have no problem gluing it on. But I like to use all, all types of different mediums and, and ideas. There, that stays there. That's all good. All good. I could add something in here. Let's do the bob bobs. <laughs> That's what I call them. But boobobs or bobobs or I'm not quite sure what you'd call them. Just lay a little strip of this right here. I think that would be really cute. Really, really cute. Now, where's my little tub of glue right here? Let's try this again. We're going back for the shot. Hmm? Here's the setup. Let's see. If not, I can always grab some from the big bottle. See well, how we do. Because the glue is thick, it takes a few, it takes a bit to come down. I should have put it away upside down, but I didn't. I did not. And I have not a lot of patience to wait for that. <laughs> so we're going to do the little bit of a uh, little dab of do ya. You know, Brick Cream. Brill Cream used to have that. I'm not sure if they had it in the United States, but I, I bet they must have. But um, I do believe that in um, here we used to do a little dab of do ya. The guys, anyway, that was always the, uh, the commercial. And we also had the um, we had commercials in the old days of the uh, double mint gum, where you had the twin girls, twi twin sisters, I believe they were, and they used to uh, they used to sing in harmony, and they used to sing um, double mint, double mint, double mint gum. Yes, ma'am, that's what they used to sing. We used to get a chuckle out of that. But um, yeah, that's 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 how it was back then. A little little dabble do ya, and. Um, Trying to think if I want to add a second, kind of a second uh, row here. I think I will. And uh, yeah, and if you go back in the years of the commercials, of the TV commercials, of the ads, of uh, the movies, you know, uh, Hawaii Five O, and uh, and Abbott Costello, and depending on your age group, depending on your interest too, not necessarily age group, because some. Uh, some younger people really enjoyed Laurel and Hardy and um, didn't mean that it had to be old in order to follow that but it was a lot of fun anyway I like that do you like that I do I think that's a little retro fun fun uh, do we want to put something on this one I'm not sure if I do or I don't so I might just pass this one on now on this one here we could add a piece here we just we could. We could. Do we have something? 
Mm, what do I have back here? I have one piece like that. So, how about if we put a little bit of um, this retro piece? I like that. That's what exactly what we'll do there. So we're going to do the same thing. Sorry guys for the type of ah, for the glob and the excess. Oh no. Oh. Okay, it'll work. It's going to work. It's going to work. I'm going to make it work. I don't like that. But it is um can be a little I think I might I might add some of this just because there is so much that fell out. And I don't want to waste it. Good little frugal me. Don't want to waste that. There you go. That fixes that one up pretty darn good and in a hurry. Yes, ma'am. There you go. And I have another one there, but that's okay. I'll, I'll dress it up somehow with... Um, different things. I'm going to go try to figure out what I can do with these glue guys and I will be right back. We are going to start, I think I will start seeing what I can add into the journals. I have a few ideas. Put it all together and get back to you. So